Uh, now, the theory is if you read material that is always a little bit difficult for you, uh, perhaps initially you have a very short lesson with a vocabulary list or something, and gradually you, you deal with material that has a small number of new words, and gradually by reading extensively and by listening, you will eventually acquire the language. It isn't quite that simple in reality. Because if you are constantly dealing with material that has only a few unknown words, you will take forever to learn the language. So you have to, in, at least in my experience, I try to speed things up. So I will, uh, uh, of course, in the old days, I would deal with, with readers where there was a vocabulary list. The difficulty is, if you review a vocabulary list before reading something, essentially you don't remember much. Uh, in fact, there's research that shows uh, if two groups of students, one group knows what the story is about, has read it in English or something, and the other group is given a vocabulary list, it's the first group, those who are familiar with the subject matter, that will understand more. Reviewing a vocabulary list ahead of reading something has very little impact on our comprehension. So, I've always said the sort of a major revolution has been reading online or on your iPad with access to an online dictionary. You can quickly look something up. It doesn't tell you the full meaning of the word, it may even give you a slightly erroneous sense of what the word means, but in most cases it allows you to get through the content.